In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple book launch flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Down in the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this video if you want to follow and practice. And after you're done and you want to send it to me, you can send it to me on Instagram and then we can chat over there. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's see how we can easily create something like this. So I'll be making use of Photoshop 2021, but this should work with any version of Photoshop that you are using. First things first, we're going to create a new document. So we go to new and then we are going to set this to 4 by 4 inches. Let's make the resolution 300 and then we click on create. For this tutorial, I kept it very minimal and very simple and straight to the point. So the first thing we do is we are going to add a background. So you go to the layer adjustment here and then you are going to select your gradient. Go into the gradient bar and then you can choose any of the gradients available for you. In this case, this is the gradient that I used. This is the first hex code and then the other one is of course white. Now once you are done setting your gradient, you go ahead and click OK. At a style, we are going to change this to radial and then we are going to reverse it. And then for the scale, we are going to set this to about 250. Something like this should be very fine. Now you go ahead and then you click OK. Now it is time to bring the image in. So we go to our resource and then we are going to import our image. Now this time around, we are first going to open it like this so that we can take off the background and place it onto our new document. So once you bring your image in here, you're going to unlock it and then you go to Windows if you are using Photoshop 2021 and above, you're going to go to Windows properties and then you are going to choose the quick actions here. Now once you choose this quick actions, you're going to select remove background and select subject. We want Photoshop to do the work for us, so we are going to choose remove background. And within a matter of seconds, Photoshop removes the background entirely for us. If you don't have this option, I shared four more ways you can do this and you can check the video over here. Now, once you have your background removed, you're going to send that image into your actual project. So you're going to press Ctrl T and then you can reduce or resize the person. So you want to bring him somewhere around here. You can still transform it if it feels like it is too big for you. Now, once you are here, you can make some adjustment to it by pressing Ctrl Shift and then L and then Ctrl L to activate the levels. You can apply a bit of levels to it and then you can press Ctrl U to add some saturation as well. Once this is OK for you, you go ahead and then you click OK. Now, let's add a test. So the title of the book is Gifted and Lifted. For the first font, I'm going to use a font called Trajan Pro and I've already typed the test just to make the whole process easier for us. So I'll copy the test here and then I'll send it into Photoshop. We are going to type Gifted and Lifted over here, something like this. And then you can position it somewhere around here. You can give it any color that you want. The font size that I'm using here is 31.92 if you want to use the same thing. But once we have it here, we are going to give it a gradient. So you right click on the gifted and lifted layer and then you are going to go to blending options. Now when you are in blending options, you head straight to gradient overlay and then we are going to apply some gradient overlay on it. So we select the gradient and then we scroll to the very bottom and then we are going to select this gradient. So this is the first hex code, pure blue and then this is a much lighter blue. This is the second hex code. Now once the colors looks OK for you, you click OK and then OK from here. Now you click OK again. You realize that we have gifted and lifted, but then this time around it says gifted, lifted. So on top of this, you are going to create a very simple ellipse. So you choose the ellipse to create a very simple ellipse like this, something very small. You don't have to make it big. And then you can position it somewhere around here. Now let's right click on that, go to the blending options and give it a gradient overlay. So you go to the gradient and then we are going to give it a gradient, this particular gradient. So this is the hex code and this is the second one. You click OK 
okay and then okay from here we are going to make a duplicate of the gifted and lifted over here send it to the top of the ellipse and then we are going to edit that to end so we have our end here press ctrl t and then you are going to transform it very nicely like that take your time and then you position it over here now you have your gifted and lifted now this is a book launch so right underneath of this we want to create a very simple rectangle so you choose your rectangle tool and then you are going to create a very nice rectangle like this now we want to have the same effect the gradient overlay on the gifted and lifted onto the rectangle so what we're going to do is we hold alt and then we are going to drag this onto the rectangle so it automatically copies the effect onto the rectangle and on top of that we are going to type book launch for the font we are going to use poppins and then we are going to use the semi bold click ok and then you can take your time this particular one didn't select so i'm going to press ctrl t and then transform it nicely so that it will fit into our rectangle and then you take your time to position it the next test is going to be the team so for that we are going to still use the poppings and then this time around we are going to go for the medium the test is right here so we copy that and then we paste it into photoshop i'm going to press ctrl t and then you take your time to transform it very nicely like that somewhere around here and then you are going to position it over here now once you have it positioned this looks a bit bigger so something like this should be fine and then you are going to change the color to something darker that we all can read so something dark like this and this should be fine now once we are done with the top we are going to go straight to the bottom so for the bottom we are going to need a rectangle over here so we pick the rectangle and then we are going to create a rectangle over here now you right click on the rectangle go to blending options and then you are going to give it a gradient of value so we go to the gradient and then you are going to select this particular gradient over here if you want to use the same colors there you go now once you're done you click ok we can push this a little bit down over here and then inside of our resources so we go to file place embedded inside of our resources we have this tagged book pack so this is the cover of the book and then this is the stacked the mock-up part so we are going to place that right on top of the design so we can place it somewhere around here and this should be very fine because it is already packed and mocked up we can simply place it on it just like that and we are good to go the rest of the things is going to be the date the time and then the rest of the information and this is a reminder that the book has already been launched and if you want to purchase it i'll leave links in the description so for the date and venue we are still going to maintain poppins medium so i'm going to paste the date and then the venue right over there so you press ctrl t and then you can transform it very neatly like that so you take your time and then you can position it somewhere around here now we can decrease this a little bit like that and then increase this one slightly like this so once we have this done we go back to our resources and then we have the date icon and then the location icon so we bring in the date icon right over here and then we can transform it neatly and bring it somewhere around here so take your time to transform it and then we can right click and rasterize the layer go to you remember this ellipse that we created so we want the same effect the gradient on it so we are going to copy that so you right click and then you are going to copy layer style go back to the date and then you right click and paste layer style and then you go back to file place embedded and then we can bring in the location icon so the same thing you take your time to transform it and then we right click rasterize it and then you can hold alt and drag this effect onto it something very nice like that now at the extreme right side you are going to create an ellipse or a circle so you create an ellipse a small one like this and then we are going to give it the same effect so alt and then you drag the effect onto this one and then let's make just a duplicate of it hide the first one right click the copied ellipse and then we are going to rasterize layer style now at this point we are going to choose the elliptical marquee tool over here 
and then you can create a very nice elliptical marquee or ellipse over here something like wherever you want to place it okay so somewhere around here and then you can hit delete that is how you create that very simple moon style type of shape now once you're done with that we are going to choose our test and on top of the ellipse you are going to write 3 pm so you select your color and then you are going to give it something dark like this press ctrl t and then you can transform your test and you position it over here so we can add on top of that time and then 3 pm so select our test bar go to the toggle character and then we can close it up a little bit like that press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely like this we can even go further and change this one to something more bold so that the time will be more visible we can select all of these parts and then we can call it the date time and venue now right underneath of this you are going to leave the rsvp so we we'll go for the rectangle to create a rectangle over here and then we can type in the rsv so i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to paste it now like i said earlier if you are in need of the book and you want to purchase you can make contact to these particular lines as well so let's go back to semi bold over here press ctrl t and then we can transform it neatly like that and we make sure that they are positioned in the white rectangle that we created something very simple like that now at this point we need more space so we can select the rectangle and close it up slightly and then make a duplicate and send it on top of the rsvp bring it down here and then we can open it or stretch it up to the very ends of our design now at this point you realize that we still need a bit of space so we can push our rectangle on top or to the top a little bit like that push our date and time also up a little bit now we have space for this rectangle we are going to change the color to yellow so you select your color and then you change it to yellow and then you can click ok and we are going to put the information over there so you can reach the author of this book through this email and this social media handles so i'm going to select my test and then i'm going to paste it right over here select all and change this one to medium and then i'm going to press ctrl t transform it very neatly like that so we can place it at the very bottom over here and now we can press ctrl t and make it a bit more smaller something like this should be fine we are going to make one more duplicate send it to the right side and then we are going to replace it with the social media so we select it all and this is the social media handle we are going to push that to the very right side and then we go inside of our resource we are going to have the social media icons over here i intentionally put all of them together but then i'll leave links to the separate ones in the description as well so we're going to select all of this and then we can reduce the size or transform it and then we can bring it over here as well the last thing we're going to add is the author's name so right on top here we're going to add the author's name and his name is so you change the color to white and then you can make this one a bit bold press ctrl t and then we can transform it nicely like this and then we are going to position it over here i just realized that one of the o's didn't come actually so let's make the changes and change this one to white and click ok now we select all of that and make it left aligned and then we can reposition it over here so ctrl t transform it and then you can add a bit of shadow to it if you want to make it stand out more so blending options and then we are going to add a drop shadow to it and then we are going to increase the size slightly like that and click ok and just like that you create a very simple book launch flyer for yourself you can do this for yourself and for clients as well and if you want to get a copy of this book details and links will be in the description if you want to reach out to the author if this video was helpful a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so very much and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye